so what about owners who understand that they need to invest? We've crossed this bridge, like I definitely need to do this, but I know that change management of systems internally, whatever's going on is going to take time and I don't have a lot of time. Uh, what advice do you have for, for people in that position right now? I get this a lot. I empathize greatly. I know running a PT practice, managing your families at home, uh, working the hours that a lot of PT owners do. Um, time is a commodity and um, you need systems and organization in your practice that is going to relieve you of that time. And as a PT owner, you want to get to a place where you're working more on your business rather than in your business. But when you're so in the weeds of working in your business, it's really hard for you to envision how you can get to a place where you're not working the, the crazy hours. And if you want something different, you have to do different. And so if not now, when? Yeah. So, and I love which kind of got at there too, of like having time to work, like I said, on your business, take a step back. There's two sides of every business. There's strategy and the, there's production processes, you know, that have to happen day, day in and day out. And if you as the owner don't have time to work on the strategy, nobody else is, you know? So, and, and like I said, ask yourself, why, why are you not having time and what can we do to address that? And I also go back to why did you start a PT business to begin with? Certainly not to work yourself to death. Right. Uh, yeah. You want to you provide, can't imagine that being the motivation. Right. Right. But you want to provide for your family. You want to have flexibility and, and, and freedom. You wanted to be able to take a vacation. I, Jacob, I can't tell you how many PT owners that have been in the business for 15, 20, 30 years and are married to the practice and have never been able to live the life that they envisioned because they never made the time to work on their business. They just solely worked in their business um, and they regret it to this day. Mm -hmm. And my favorite story is from a current client of ours, um, who reached out to me a couple of years ago and, you know, basically it said like, this is it. I'm, I'm moving forward with you guys. Um, six months later, I saw him at a conference and he was able to share with me that he took his first vacation in 10 years. Um, and it was a bucket list vacation and his wife and, and had a great marriage and, you know, everything kind of turned around because um, there's balance and that's, that's what organizations and systems do for you as an individual, but then also for your practice and provide security in your practice for continued and success after you. New Patients, No Excuses is a series for private physical therapy practices who want to succeed no matter what challenges may come their way. Medicare cuts, declining physician referrals, in global pandemics, there's always something. Your success doesn't have to depend on outside factors. If you want more tips, follow us here, subscribe, or check out the ptmarketingblog.com. And from all of us here at Practice Promotions, here is to your success, no matter what.